Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited for this video. I haven't done a video like this before. This is getting into, you know, the budgeting side and financial side of YouTube, which I'm happy to start creeping into. And I'm going to be talking about three ways you can save money at Target. So if you guys want to hear about those tips, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to have the timestamp for you guys to skip ahead to uh, when I actually get into the tips because I'm about to start ranting a little bit. More like rambling. I'm super excited for this video because, like I said, this is something new on my channel and my channel's growing. I'm going to be at 250 subscribers soon and I'm very happy because my channel was stagnant for a little bit. I was doing a lot of beauty videos, but now I have switched over to motherhood, lifestyle, entrepreneurship, financial freedom, personal finance. So I'm going into a whole new avenue new niche and a whole other side of youtube so i'm super excited so thank you to everyone that has been subscribing and subscribers that have stuck around if you guys have any video suggestions or anything you want to see um based on what my channel is going to now then please leave them in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get into these tips so the first tip is nothing new i've heard people talk about it before and that is planning out your meals ahead of time now i started doing this last um year <laughs> i almost said last week i started doing this last year when i had did my meal prep for post my postpartum meal prep and i did a video about that and when we were coming home we were like okay what are we gonna have for the week let's figure out what meals we want to use so i was like okay let's have this this week we can make this and then every week when steve went back to work i would just send him a meal plan of what we're gonna have for the weekend i was like you know what let's stick with that and when we would do grocery shopping i was like okay this is what we're gonna have this week let's see what we actually need instead of just going blindly to the grocery store and not knowing you know what to get so ever since last year when I was about eight and a half months pregnant we have just been planning out her our meals so when you plan out your meals for the week you are just getting exactly what you need from the grocery store and you're figuring out what you already have in the kitchen what you actually need besides spending over the amount or just picking random things that event that you can't even put a meal together and then you end up having to go back to the store and spend more money so i find that that has definitely helped us stay on budget with spending 150 dollars a week just on groceries that's not including if we have to get toilet paper toothpaste and stuff like that but we want to keep food at 600 dollars a month which might seem like a lot but um I forget where I heard it, but you spend the most the, the most amount of money on groceries right underneath um, your rent and your mortgage. So 600 is good for us. And yeah, that's what works. So figure out your budget and figure out meals that, you know, are good for you that you want to have. <laughs> and if you guys need some inspiration on what to cook and jazz up your meals, I actually started a blog. So I will have this blog post linked down below for you guys in the description box where you can check out a sample weekly, oh, weekly, <laughs> a sample weekly meal plan. Okay, so the second way to save money is doing your cash back okay you guys need to get into Rakuten it was formerly known as Ebates now it's Rakuten you guys do get money back from when you shop it's like one percent or something like that when the pandemic hit Target wasn't on Rakuten anymore like a lot of stores dropped off and now that everything's opening back up and stuff like that stores are back on Rakuten or the percentages back up so right now Target is currently one percent but you will get money back now I'm gonna be honest you don't get a lot of money back okay I get cents back like nine cents ten cents and I don't always consistently use it because I forget but have the Rakuten app right next to your Target app so I order on the Target app for my delivery um when it's there so I'm like oh yeah okay Rakuten's there when I go to place an order I'm like okay I am gonna put everything in my cart and then go do Rakuten um just because I don't know I like shopping through the app I don't like the Rakuten app that brings you to the desktop version of Target I like the app version so I'll put everything in my cart and then switch to Rakuten and go ahead and get my cash back now how you can save money at Target if you don't want to sign up for a Rakuten for some crazy reason then you can join Target Circle it's absolutely free all you have to do is sign up with your phone number and then when you go in store you know put your phone number and get the um one percent back off of that order or on the app it's already automatically in there and you get the um cash back as soon as you check out and pick up your order so i do a lot of my shopping through the app and we do order pickup so that is the major way that i get my one percent cash back and i will show you guys my current balance right now And then also I have saved about maybe over $30 this month. 
which is great because that's an extra thirty dollars that i can put into my savings or can go towards a car payment or some other payment it's nice to save that money and to save you know money in general <laughs> So yeah, those are the two things that you need to join. Rakuten, which is completely free, and Target Circle, completely free as well. So the last way I save money shopping at Target is doing the pickup orders. So when you do that, sometimes there's little deals that like you can get this box of cereal for 3 or $4 versus the $7 if you do same day pickup or delivery which is really nice because it's encouraging you to, encouraging you to stay out of the store, just do an order pickup and you know keep the stores as free as possible or as, with as least people as possible so it's safe because target gets busy even though you can't walk around with your starbucks anymore and just buy a bunch of stuff people are still in there shopping which i get because we're all cooped up in the house i can't say the cute or the p word because i don't want to get flagged or demonetized oh when i'm when i'm actually monetized i don't want this video to be demonetized so we know what i'm talking about <laughs> um you know people want to get out and go to the store because we, we're stuck in the house and we're bored so i get it i understand but you know if you have high risk people at home or if you're high risk or you just don't want to go into the store do your uh, same day pickup um with target and you guys can save money they have a lot of deals like that so those are just some of the deals that they have which is absolutely great because you are saving like two dollars on one thing but depending on what you're getting that can really add up and how much you have to get of each thing so i love that target does that that's really great and then a little bonus tip for my mommies out there now what they have at least two times a month um that i've seen and i always catch it so i think they do it every other week if you spend a certain amount of money on baby care items you get a 15 dollars gift card i've seen it be 75 dollars on baby baby items or a hundred dollars on baby items and i have gotten a 15 dollars gift card before i'll try and include the email i think because i already used the gift card on our grocery order which is nice so what i do i wait for that deal to come around so if malia needs a little stuff here and there then i'll just get that but i wait to get like the big box of diapers that are 30 dollars until um they have that promo running i'll get the small bag so when they have that going i get you know a big box two big boxes and a pack of wipes which adds up to a hundred dollars because i get the honest brand the biggest one and we get two boxes of diapers now if your baby is still growing and in between malia's right now at the age where she's still in size three and she's going to be in size three for you know at least another month so that's why i would get two size three boxes at a time but if your baby's still growing you know you have a newborn get a box of size one and size two and then you just have it saved okay don't get the same one because then you don't want to waste your money and then you don't have anything to do with these um diapers because your baby outgrew them so get you know the size your baby currently is and the size for the next step so you already have that there and we re-up on like her aquaphor uh her body wash will get butt paste or Tylenol anything that qualifies even the baby dish soap so anything in the baby care items will go so I'm sure you know it doesn't hurt to have a backup baby dish soap and baby uh, aquaphor and whatnot so look out for those deals mamas because it definitely helps and then you have that gift card to save save it for the month apply it to groceries or just have it saved up till Christmas and you could have like $50 saved up of free gift cards that you didn't have to do much for and boom you have a christmas present <laughs> all right guys so that is going to wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on four ways you can save money shopping at target it was actually supposed to be three but i remembered the last step towards the end of the video so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget if you need to reference this video or you know remember you forget the tips i will have the blog post linked down below for you guys to check out so you don't have to you know sit through and rewatch this whole video you can simply click on the link to go to my blog and have it already brought up for you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys